Hey there, everyone. My name is Jace Marino, and I lead Teams Platform for our customer success organization here at Microsoft. And today I just got off a call with a customer in London uh, from the request of one of our customer success managers who asked me to share how I run and manage this channel that I operate here in what team I'm in, which is our Teams adoption team over here at the left. Now, for some context, not only is our customer success organization in this channel, but a lot of our peers around Microsoft. And currently we have over 2,500 people in this Teams adoption channel with somewhere around 17 or 18 channels. Now I look after, again, Teams platform globally. So I manage the community and the channel here for Teams platform. And based on the advice that I received from a lot of our customer success managers last year, we evolved how we created and managed this channel as well as the communication strategy that I wanna share with you here for a moment, because we've received a lot of good feedback. And by no means is this the right way to do things, but I'm hoping given the nuances of your organization and your culture and the way that you've structured your organizational teams, this might help you come up with some clever ideas to make life easier. Because let's be very clear, as a community lead, the reason I set this channel up the way that I did and the reason I'm constantly engaging with our customer success managers is so I can make my life easier. So I spend less time answering the questions that I'm getting over and over and over again and allowing people to self-serve in a way that's easy. Now again, 2,500 people, does that reach the entire community ever? No, right? But there's a lot of stuff I think that we've done here that are pretty cool and pretty valuable. First thing that I'll show you here is if you click on the little information icon right here for channel info, I have pinned a welcome message. And just to, just to reiterate how I did that real quick before I forget, is hover over a channel message or an announcement and you can pin right here. And so the pinning will come up. We have two pin chats that are sitting here right now for two really important posts and you can update those as you see fit. Now this welcome message here is really important. It was the very first iteration of what, we'll call the, what we call the Teams Platform Pub. So speaking to our customer success managers, we decided, all right, let's have a regular communication strategy. Let's have a consistent approach. So every single time I post this announcement in the channel, which is once a week, I've always got the same image in the background. And I'll show you how to do that here in a moment. So inside of this, I tell everybody, look, if you're gonna pay attention to anything that happens here with all the noise that's going on through all of your different teams and channels, make sure that at a minimum, it's the weekly platform pub. And I'll show you in a moment how we make it easy to go back and find this content. I explained then what this channel is all about for those that are new to the organization and maybe to Teams platform. I show them what you can expect from each one of these platform pubs. And then I even did a little demo video for them on an unlisted YouTube video that walks them through everything that I just explained in text. Now, the reason I do that is because some people don't necessarily want to read a big post. They might want to just watch a quick video and that's fine. So something that I put up there for them. And again, now we've evolved that to a public facing video where you can share this as well. So that was the first thing, clarify what we're doing, then have consistency. So inside of this tab right here, I've got, or one of my tabs is called key links. And this is a wiki tab, if you're familiar, which comes into Teams by default, if that's how your admins have set it up. And in the key links tab, what I've done is the very first thing that you go in and see are the platform pubs. So the bi-weekly channel announcements, some weeks we do two, some weeks we do one, which is why it says it. But here again is the video that I just mentioned to everybody, it takes them straight, that's a direct link to the YouTube post. And then now we have five categories. So we've evolved this and how I present these, these platform pubs. And each one of these bullets is a direct link to the post itself, details about the title of the post and when it was posted. So let's say for example, if I wanna get some demo resources, I can click on that link right there and it'll take me straight to the post here where I showed more information about demoing for Teams platform, All right? So really easy to go back in and find the search. Now, as our search continues to approve, this will become easier and easier and easier from the search tab up here. But in the meantime, I want to give people this easy way to go back in, find the content that they need right in the key links. And I also post other key links here. So as you can see inside of the video, I also explain each one of these tabs up here and why I put certain content in certain tabs and what it gives you access to. So I'll come back to that and I'll walk you through those. But again, some key information that's sitting right here for the CSMs to go in and leverage. Okay, so back to the channel. One thing I do all the time is a lot of customer success managers will, sorry, I didn't mean to go up to Fabian right there. Uh, a lot of customer success managers will come up to me and they'll send me a message direct one-on-one -on -one and they'll ask me a question. That's a common question I get all the time. And one thing I encourage, and I'd highly recommend this, is encourage them to post that in the channel for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to be the bottleneck to that question. Number two, you're also limiting the creativeness of our 2,500 plus person community where you might get some great information that I don't have access to, right? Or something that I don't know. 
And more importantly for me, the reason I encourage it in all honesty and selfishness is that I want more people to see the answer to the common question that's coming up over and over and over again. Now you can do this a variety of ways. One way that we do this on my team is we have a hashtag called Teams Police. And it's our kind of fun way of encouraging the right behaviors. We see a lot of organizations use GIFs to do the same thing. But have a fun way to encourage the right behaviors and it's not a way of putting people on the spot or paying them out. Okay, so Platform Pub we covered. Um, again, that's about simplification. I, I promised I'd show you the announcements. If you're not familiar with the announcements, when you start a new conversation in Teams, if you hit the Format tab, you can have an option for a new conversation or for an announcement. So what I go in is I type in the platform pub, the updated volume. So let's say 21 is our next one that's coming up. And then I click on images and this allows me to search through images on my computer. And I use the same image of what is a pub for this post. And then I do my very simple subheader title and I put in my content and then I share. So again, really, really just trying to create consistency and addressing the common things our, our folks are hearing. Um, and then, as I promised, then what I did is I said, all right, I want to make sure that all the key content and information our customer success managers need is sitting right here in this channel. So one thing I spend a decent amount of time on is making sure that our files are clean. So we have, and you can imagine, with 2,500 people, there is an absurd amount of file sharing that goes on in this channel. So I created a folder here called Extra Files. You can call it Recycle Bin, call it whatever you want. But these are files that I don't want to leave the SharePoint repository that's the back end of this channel. But I also want to make sure that somebody doesn't go in here and has an impossible time of finding what they need. So I pinned three resources sitting up here, which are the most important ones that folks asked me for. And I simplify. This team has been around for over two years. And you can see there's only five folders here and two additional files. So keep the files section clean if you want people to leverage it is my ultimate message there. We did key links. One thing that's really cool is you can pin files. So I've got a customer references, uh, so a customer story slide deck that I ask our CSM managers to leverage when they're having conversations with our customers. Um, and so as you can see, let me refresh this here. And so this slide deck again is, is a, a PowerPoint presentation that is one of the files that I've uploaded as a tab. And to do that, all you need to do is hit the plus sign. I'm having issues with my server. It, long story short, there's a bunch of slides in here that are customer scenarios. Um, and then, you know, for some reason, if you're having an issue like that and it wasn't working inside of Teams, you can just open it in the desktop client. Also, if you're not familiar with this, if you actually wanted to share this tab with other folks, you can do that right here, copy a link to a tab and share it with others. So I do that all the time. And again, I actually have that sitting in a OneNote right now that I share with other folks. All right, moving on from here. So I wanna help our customer success managers properly share this content and information and pitch it to customers so they can see what their peers are doing around the world and have some consistency to that approach. So what you're looking at is our Teams platform pitch video stream channel. And so I can go on here and we've got these ordered in the, in the order of presentation that you might give this to a customer for our stream channel. One of the other tabs that I have on here is our public facing YouTube channel. So this is called our Team Superhero. So this is available for all of you today, probably where you're watching this video. And we've got a bunch of different videos that we've shared where we've interviewed people internally and externally from Microsoft to address common scenarios and challenges and things that organizations are doing around the planet with the tools that they already have. So really easy access for folks to go in and share this directly with their customers without having to leave Teams. Now I won't go through all of these, but there's a bunch of other goodness that's sitting on this. One thing I will say that has become the most valuable resource that we lived on here is we said, look, now we've got everything centralized. How do we start to modernize the way that our customer success managers will interact with this content? So what we did is we took all of the information that's sitting in this channel, as well as other key resources that sit in marketing, that sit in engineering and outside of customer success. And we created what you're looking at right here, which is an internet page. In our case, it's a SharePoint internet page. And this has become our centralized online repository here for all of the key Teams platform content for our customer success managers to be able to leverage. There's tons of goodness in here. And we said, okay, centraliz centralization was important and here's why. Because we wanted to create a self-service bot experience that you're looking at here called Appy. So what Appy does is it uses the Teams platform resource library here. This is a personal app that's pinned over here on the left-hand rail for me. The back end of it is this resource library. So all of the content and information that's sitting there, whenever you interact with Appy, all it's doing is pulling in answers from that repository of information that we've centralized. Now, even better, Appy, we also created a menu bar here, which is, op which is option you have by default with some of our app templates, and we'll share a link to that at the end, allowing users to understand what they can do. So let's say that I want to search for something and let's say that I'm having a conversation with a customer and they want to know, do you have a Trello integration for teams? 
I can just hit search Trello and what will come up immediately is a connection into Appy. Immediately, it's not correct here, it took a second. Uh, but this is direct uh, link to the Trello app summary. So what's available in Teams, how I can demo it, et cetera. Well, let's say that I'm looking for a resource here uh, for a customer story. So I'll show you an example of how this process works. So I get this beautiful adaptive card. Let's say that I want a pitch resource. So something that I wanna share with customers. And let's say that I wanna introduce customers to our Teams app templates. So Appy, this application you're looking at right here was built off of a Teams applica uh, application template. So this is a bot template that exists. And again, you're just pointing the bot into the backend resource or the knowledge base that it's leveraging to answer questions. And in this case, it's a SharePoint website, the platform resource library I just showed you. So I've got a bunch of different resources on here. Let's say that I wanna to go to the FAQ on uh, app templates. And so each time this funnels down into the right question, and then you can see, I finally get the, the um, result for the resource here. So a great way to modernize this um, and, and have another way of interacting with users. Now you may have noticed when I first popped in here too, there was a message here and this was not done through search. We, we can proactively send messages to users. So if you've never joined one of our unleashing Microsoft Teams calls every month, I actually will interview customers in the Western hemisphere and in the Eastern hemisphere talking about what they're doing with applications and services and integrations in Microsoft Teams. And we want our customer success managers to share that out with their customers and their peers. So we've got, uh, this is another Teams app template that we built into the functionality called Company Communicator, which lets us proactively reach out to users who have Appy. And the beauty is this message will show up in your chat tab. So users receive this in their chat tab and they've got a direct link to the details that again, they can share out with their customers, which is pretty cool. So hopefully that was helpful in seeing a little bit of what's possible. Again, this is just how I manage my day to make my life easier, leveraging the things that are already at my fingertips inside of Teams. So I hope it's helpful. Let us know if you have any feedback or questions.